I wanted to share with you what I think is the most important thing to know in woodworking, and that's how to cut to a line. Now, this may seem intuitive to you, but this was the thing that changed my woodworking for me when I first started learning, is that when I knew that I could get to a specific measurement accurately every single time, I felt like I had the confidence to go and tackle bigger projects. So I'm gonna show you, it's very simple. I did a much longer video called Superior Accuracy in Woodworking. I'll link that right here. Uh, it goes into depth on tons of techniques for accuracy, but this I think is the most important one. So come on in here and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so first of all, good joinery is done with a pencil. Great joinery is done with a marking knife. That's one good thing to know if you're working in fine woodworking. But let's say I wanted to cut this to exactly two inches and you could easily use your square and mark it with a, your marking knife by placing it right next to it and doing that. But you know, a lot of people like to use tape measure, so we'll do it with tape measure. So what you do is you take your marking knife and you put it right at the two inches and just hold it there. Take your square and you mark it. And you only need to mark the face of the board that is closest to the table saw blade. And I'm gonna show you why right now. So for example, this table saw blade, this is an ATB alternate tooth bevel with a flat bottom tooth in between them. And you can see this is like any saw, uh, whether it's a hand saw or a, an electric saw, they're gonna have tooth set. And what needs to happen is the blade needs to be thinner than the teeth so that they have room to clear chips. So that's what these, little gullets are for. Those are where the sawdust goes into when it's cut and carried out the back side. It also allows air to get in to cool the cut and keep it from burning. And so the teeth stick out further than the saw blade. So if you're just measuring arbitrarily to your saw blade, you're never gonna get a very, a super accurate cut. You need to measure to the tips of these teeth. So depending on which side of your blade that you're cutting on, if you were cutting on this side of your blade, you would measure to that very tip of that tooth. Or if you were cutting to this side of the blade, you would measure to this very tip of the tooth. So then what I do is the tooth that's facing over on this side here, I'll slide my fence up and I'll bring the tooth forward to my board. And you can see, I just line that tooth up right here with my line. And this is why we use a marking knife because a pencil is probably eight times fatter than that. Even if you use a 0.5, it is way fatter than that line. So we know that line is the exact place we're gonna go. And so I'm just gonna bump my fence over. You can see that tooth now perfectly falls into that line. Okay, so as you can see, we cut perfectly to that line. And now let's give this a quick measure. <laughs> Just two, two on the dot. I mean, that is just perfect. And we did that with no measuring instruments like this that are super precise, but we got a perfect measurement. And that is just the easiest way to do it. Uh, like I said, translates to band saws, router blades, uh, even skill saws. So go forth and cut things accurately, my friends. Stay safe in the shop and have a wonderful day.